Coach, with everything, I guess during this stretch, you know, you had this big stretch of games, and to, to end it the way you did with Oach, how emotional was this? How, how taxing are you guys, and how, I guess, maybe happier are you that this stretch is over? Well, I, I think that we, we should look at it that way. We're happy we won and won the league. Uh, all right, that's what we're happy about. Uh, uh, it's been a hard stretch, though. It's been a hard stretch, and, and uh, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of depth, and so guys playing a lot of minutes. And, and uh, I, I, the thing that, that, that disappointed, that, that didn't disappoint me, but the thing that we have to correct, and we will now, because that the hard part is will, will teach us, is uh, after we lost at TCU, and we knew we had TCU, and we knew what they were capable of doing. We played really tight, and today we played extra tight. Uh, we couldn't buy a basket. I, the guys trying so hard, and the harder you try, the worse you play, and shoot it. So, but we hung in there. We defended. We rebounded. Uh, I thought we won in regulation, uh, and and uh, but I haven't seen the I haven't seen the the uh, the play yet, uh, the call yet, but but or no call. But I I, I really I really thought that. Uh, we really defended and we rebounded well, and you know Texas played well uh, defensively, and we played really well defensively, and and then we just kind of hung in there and you know made a couple of free throws that kind of was the difference. But uh, uh, really proud of David. David was great. He carried us. Uh, Jalen Wilson was good. CB made a couple of big plays late, but but obviously we got to play better and if we're going to you know have a chance to go over. It. Can you go through the? Uh in the regulation before that last two seconds, so when Ochai had the ball and yeah, we 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 uh, uh, dumb 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 by me. We we uh, we tried to uh, uh, run a screen rescreen play that we haven't really worked on a lot with Och. We run it all the time with Juan, practice it all the time. But with Och, thinking that they would switch the ball screen, and we told them if they trapped it, just call timeout, and we didn't call timeout and and uh, let too much time run off. But we got exactly what we wanted out, out the side out, and, and uh, got got the ball to O, and, and uh, uh, you know he obviously got it stripped. At least that's what the call was. So so uh, uh, we had to go OT. But uh, yeah, it was it wasn't a good play. In, in situation like that, you're better off not ever bringing a second defender to it. Uh, if you think, especially if it's your best player, you're better off just give give him the ball and getting out of his way. And so I didn't feel like we did a good job in that last time out. Uh, at all to, to get us a look, but we probably should have could have called timeout with five left and had a chance to do some, but we just didn't. It, it, it seems on senior days like this, it, a lot of times juniors, underclassmen will, will show up big. Jalen seemed to do that today. Jalen was great on the glass. He made two big shots when we ran crap offense. Uh, I thought, I, you know, if you're, if you're going to, you know, I don't know who does this, but they kind of rank the performances of our players uh, every game. <laughs> Uh, there's no doubt who would want to be, but 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 he'd be number two, uh, no question. So uh, yeah, I thought he was great. And, you know, CB made a couple of big plays, but uh, the way that they guard, you know, and Ochai got God dang, he got an uncontested layup to start, and he got a wide open three to start it, and and uh, we just didn't take advantage of it. Uh, but he was just trying too hard. Uh, Juan came up huge, he had four block shots, and he was great defensively on Carr and Askew. Uh, there there were some good things that happened today. And there may be another game or two where the lid's on the basket, but how often you beat a top 20 team, whether it be home or on the road, and shoot 30 percent. So, so uh, we'll see, we'll take that as positive. Bye. No, did you have a particular movie in mind when you said that about a? No, no, I don't. I don't watch a lot of movies, but there's got to be some really crap movies out there <laughs> uh, 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 that that didn't was not a box office hit. But you watched it and you said, God, what a great ending. So uh, that that's kind of how I felt today was. So. And, and you know, more to the point on that, I guess, is, I mean, it, it, it wasn't the game you wanted to see in a lot of ways, probably, but I mean, it, it, you've had a lot of experience with whatever you call ugly losses. I mean, it, what does this sort of thing do for you at this time of year when if you lose this game, you're feeling a little different? I think if we lost this game, we would be uh, 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 going into Kansas City trying to recapture some momentum. And, and I don't think that'll be the case now. I think we'll go in there fine. And, and everything, you know, uh, our league is really good, and everybody in our league defends. And and we made the last four games we played against teams that really, really, really guard, really guard. And uh, uh, you know, we actually played better offensively at Baylor than we did the other three games. And, and uh, TCU 
played better against us here than they played down there. Uh, but we still found a way to win. And, and then today, uh, obviously, uh, not not artistic at all. But you know, in order to have great years, you got to win ugly some. So uh, we've been a team that was better offensively than defensively all year long. So for us to be better defensively than and obviously, at least it shows us that we can do that. One last part, Bill, too. Like it, you mentioned, I think you used the term tight, and I didn't know if you meant like physically kind of tight from four games to eight. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean tight. Like Bill, we, 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 we want to do good too bad. We, 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 we put too much pressure on ourselves to try to do do well, and, and uh, I think that's what I meant by tight. And what, what's going on with that? Why, why, why is that happening? Do you think? Senior day. I think that's, that's yeah, you want to you want to go out in style. It's it's. it's uh, See, you know, mo most see, you know, you, you go watch Duke and Carolina. You think those kids at Duke are feeling any pressure today? You know, uh, uh, and and it was a tie game. You know, in the second half, I don't know if Duke's pulling away or not, or not. But I mean, that that that's a a team that that uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Duke had Carolina down 33 to 13 at Carolina, and now they're fighting for their lives. At least they were early. That that that's the way it works. Uh, uh, in, in sports, you want to operate at a at a, a magic level where you're energy and your focus and your adrenaline's all at a kind of crossroads to give you the best chance to play well. Uh, we weren't at the magic level today. We were too amped up and too anxious. And, and, and that's where you learn how to compete. That's, that's why, you know, guys like the great ones, the Brady's or the Jordans or whatever, that's one thing that makes them all so special is because under any situation, no matter how big or how small, they can get themselves to that magic level. And, and I think we tried really hard. I just didn't think we did a good job with that. So. Bill, speaking probably to that tightness, there was the time, uh, the first time you subbed Ochai out, about 12.50 left in the first half, you called him over and put your arm around him and said a couple of words. Was it, he feeling particularly emotional today, do you think? Did they think that had any kind of lingering effect on him? And a lingering effect? Well, I mean, no. obviously, but like, just the mentality of it. Uh, yeah, the mentality was senior day. Right. And, and he wanted to do well and go out in style, and he planned for a Big 12 championship, too. So you guys should make the story more about that we won the damn game as opposed to what was wrong. That was a heck of a win against a really good team. And so uh, 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 at least that's how I feel. So, uh, yeah, we had a guy not have his best game without question, and he was pressing, and, and uh, he missed uh, three uncontested layups that he always made. But when you care as much as he does, that happens sometimes. So uh, I don't see that as a as something that would be lingering at all. No, I just ask only because it just seemed like you were very supportive of him at that time, just especially. Yeah, I took him out to try to get him, you yeah. know, catch his breath Thanks. a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, you're right on that. Bill, uh, defensively, the you guys hold, held Timmy Allen to two of fifteen. Um, it was mostly Jalen on it, but you switched some with with David on it. Yeah. David was on him at game point uh, uh, about the last. What, what, 12 minutes probably? Yeah. So, so, uh, but that was also because they elected to play small. And, and, and then when they brought uh, Christian in or, or the Sioux, uh, they set the ball screen for Allen and then we just switched them. So, so uh, that was, that worked out better for us. Uh, we did a good job with him for the most part of staying down and, and not get lifted. And, uh, and we guarded him better uh, and, and harder when he had the ball in the scoring area, where last time he got ahead of steam and came at us. So, so we did a good job on him. The, the, the guy that we didn't do a good job on at all was Courtney uh, in the first half. But everybody else I thought we defended, we defended pretty well. Uh, and I thought we rebounded the ball better, even though you know, the, the numbers probably don't say that it was anything close to dominant because it wasn't. But that was a much better rebounding effort than we had the first time. 36 minutes from – almost 36 minutes from Dave. Huge fact, you know, they went at him defensively and he held his own. What, 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 just what do you think of it? The, what the effort, 36 minutes. I, th I thought Dave was great. I, guys, uh, uh, when the first half, how many one footers did he miss? I mean, and, you know, you make a couple of those, the, the, the lead comes off. It's, it's different. So, uh, uh, because he was trying too hard, too. He was pressing and trying too hard. And I don't know if you guys remember when we played Missouri here in the last game. Uh, that was about as bad a basketball team as we've had play here. Uh, uh, we're down 17 with 16 left or whatever, and guys are trying their butts off. But until something good happened, you know, where they could kind of take a deep breath and relax, you know, it was going to be like that. And, and that, that's what this game felt like to me. So, Coach, how do you help them not to feel that pressure going in front of the stretch? It wasn't the pressure. Uh, uh, it was the pressure of the moment, senior day, and, and playing for the title. And, and that, 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 that was what the pressure is. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that. Uh, the pressure they put on themselves, not pressure that they feel from outside people. I don't. I don't feel that'll be an issue moving forward. Brian, Bill, how do you get? How do you get? 
Tex and some of their losses, they come up against these situational moments, you know, where it's, where it's trapping a guy, but you know, he escapes. And they miss, it, they miss front ends of one-on-ones, things like that. How do you, how do you teach your guys to break through? Because they've reached a resistance point. Well they, they, well, well, they actually had their breakthrough game against us the first time, you know. Uh, they thought, uh, yeah. yeah. Because that was our game. And, 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 and they they won it. Uh, we were up four with a minute and a half left, and, and that was our game. And and then and they won it. And, and today, uh, really, when you're up six in a game like that, which six probably felt like ten, don't you guys agree? Six felt like ten. And then they come back and tie it. And actually had a chance to take the lead. And they missed a, a front end, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. uh, that that could have actually maybe given them the lead. So so it was probably the role was reversed today with 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 us. Uh, uh, with the, with them making the right plays, uh, and then at the end we, we got we got really lucky. You know we we, we, we don't get the ball in. We got to use our last timeout. They have us trapped on the sideline, and CB throws a perfect pass to Juan just over the defender's hands. He catches it. He pitches it to Oach, and we get the dunk. So you know that's one possession that could have gone the other way for sure. But uh, uh, in games like this, uh, it always comes down to one or two things happening, whether it be good fortune or poor fortune, and, and we probably had in overtime some good fortune happen for us today. It, it just real quick, I, I, know how, I, I have an idea of how you feel about Oach, but just what did you think of Ramey in the two games he had? Oh, Ramey did a great job on Oach. I, 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 I think that, uh, uh, you know, he, he did a great job. I've, I've always enjoyed competing against Courtney uh, uh, since he's been there, and, and uh, uh, I think he did. I, I, I think the way that they, they played Oach, uh, uh, is a way that, that Ramey can excel. I think he's a tough kid. I, I think that he enjoys challenges, uh, and I think he took a lot of pride in, in, in guarding today. I also think that Oach got, didn't get many good looks, but he got some good looks and didn't knock him down. And, 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 uh, but I, I, I thought Courtney did a great job. I think he's a really good basketball player. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay, guys. Oh, Gary. Thanks, Coach. Gary. Bill Baylor tied 62 all in crunch time. What would it mean? Uh, we we got we got a hat and we get a ring and we got a, a towel and a t-shirt already. So 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 no matter no matter what happens, they they ain't taking that from us. So uh, 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 we'll be good either way. I, I think no matter what, though, we'll be the one seed in the tournament, right? Yeah. Yeah. So 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 yeah, no matter what, that's that's good. Good question.